Watch you guys, in this video we're going to be taking a look at how to fix the Windows Sandbox no internet connection problem. So you can see here we do have uh, Windows Sandbox installed and up and running uh, but we do have no internet. So I'm going to show you some steps that you can take to try to rectify this problem. So there's a bunch of things we can do here so let's go ahead and start with those. So first off what we're going to do, you can see down here on the bottom right hand side on your main PC, not the Sandbox PC, you want to click on your network and settings. So what you want to do here is going to change adapter options. You should see it just below change your network settings. Click it here and open up this option for you. Once you've got this open you should see your uh, connections here. And you can see we've got Ethernet connection. This is my computer Ethernet connection. We've also got our other connection which is for our Windows Sandbox and we've got virtual host only network which is our virtual box which is virtual machine basically so these two at the front are what we're interested in and what you need to do here is click on these and we're going to bridge these internet connections so highlight them by holding the control key down and uh, what we're going to do is highlight this and highlight this one once you've got them both highlighted you want to right click and you want to bridge these connections this will give you a bridged internet connection and hopefully this will resolve a lot of your problems. So let it bridge the internet connection. You should see it go off and on and then you should see a network bridge being created for those two connections. So let's check out our Windows Sandbox. You can see now we are connected and that should resolve your problem. But I'll show you some other things you can try if that is not working for you. Now if you want to delete your bridge connection, all you need to do here is right click on it. Uh, you need to highlight it first and then you can uh, delete it by right clicking on it. So let me quickly show you how to do this. So highlight it and then right click on this and then click delete. And this will delete your bridge connection. You should see your Ethernet connection start to identify and go back to being uh, your normal uh, Ethernet connection here rather than a bridge connection. And there you go. You should be back up and running and back to normal it's just verifying there so just let it do its verifying there we go everything's gone back to normal and you should be back to uh, the way it was before you added in your bridge connection that's if you want to delete it now if you're still having problems then i'm going to show you what else you can do to try to rectify uh, your no internet connection on windows sandbox so go down to the bottom right here and we're going to click on here uh, expand more and you should see VPN click on VPN now if you've got a VPN connection like this one here then you need to disconnect it because sometimes being on a VPN will stop your internet connection working correctly on your sandbox so just disconnect that and that should uh, resolve your problem you should still see we are connected here so let's try uh, another solution for you here now on your firewall you want to open up your firewall here and try to disable your firewall and see if you get internet connection. Now you may need to restart your sandbox once you've uh, done this. You can see this game mode on here which allows things to pass through but basically what you want to do is just quickly exit out here and you should get a notification saying your firewall or network protection has now been disabled. We're also going to turn off our antivirus program and the reason why we want to do this is because sometimes more advanced antivirus programs like Bitdefender, ESET and stuff like that will tamper with your um, connection to your Windows Sandbox. So just go into your antivirus program and just temporarily disable. It'll give you an option just like Windows Defender here. You'll be able to turn off real-time protection and uh, you'll be able to turn off cloud delivery protection and so on. And the reason for this is because obviously we just want to test now you may need to restart your Windows Sandbox to uh, get this to work properly. It won't just suddenly appear and your connection will appear. Just uh, restart your Sandbox. Once you realize that that was the problem, you can re-enable your antivirus program and put an exception through for your Windows Sandbox. Now if you want to put an exception through for your firewall, you can see here, this is Zone Alarm. This path for this is your Windows System32 and Windows Sandbox.exe. You need to allow this to go through to let it connect to the internet. You can see here, I'm going to trust this and let this go through so I can get connection. This way, you're not going to uh, sort of 
jeopardize the safety of your main PC, all you're doing is allowing uh, the sandbox to go through and connect uh, to the internet, and that's what you want to do here. So just allow them to go through here. Now, if you're using a different firewall or Windows firewall, just add an exception for that path, okay, for that program. Then restart your Windows sandbox, and hopefully you should get connected uh, once you've done that. Now, also on your Windows sandbox, go to the bottom right-hand side and expand here, and go to your network tab. This is on your Windows sandbox this time. Click network and internet settings, and inside here, you'll see some information about the uh, NIC card and the connection here. So go into your uh, network here, uh, properties, and up the top, you're looking for this information. You want to put an exception for this device to be allowed to go through, okay? And this will be on your firewall and also on your antivirus program, whether it will be, uh, say, Bitdefender, ESET, McAfee, Norton, any of those, you just add an exception for this device to be allowed to go through. Now, also, you want to allow all your Hyper-V settings inside your Windows features where you enabled Windows Sandbox and turn all of those on. Put the ticks on them to make sure you're allowing them to go through as well. And just make sure that you're allowing all of that to go through and enabled, okay? And hopefully you should be back up and running and you should have an internet connection. It's very important that we do that. So now go back to your Windows Sandbox. And another thing we can try here is go into your Ethernet settings here. Look inside here, make sure all your Ethernet settings are perfectly okay and everything is okay here. So just make sure all your settings are correct and everything is working okay because if these are wrong, then you're not gonna be able to connect uh, to the internet. Now, whether you're using Wi-Fi or Ethernet, you can check both of these. Now, the next thing you wanna try here is go to Troubleshoot, type Troubleshoot in the search box in your Windows Sandbox and run the Troubleshooter for your network. Just in case you've got a problem, uh, this will help you try to resolve it. So you see internet connections here, you definitely wanna run that Troubleshooter just in case. And uh, another one you want to run down the bottom here, let's come further down here, and you can see uh, incoming connections, and you've also got network adapter. You wanna run these three items here, okay? And the reason why you wanna do that is just to make sure that there's not a problem with the Windows sandbox itself. Now you can just run through the prompt boxes here, it's pretty straightforward stuff. Uh, but just reset everything inside here and hopefully if you've done that you should be uh, up and running and should have a connection to your Windows uh, sandbox. Make sure you restart the sandbox after that. If it's still not working then take the tick out of Windows sandbox in Windows features and reinstall it, okay? Reboot the system, put the tick back in, you have to basically go through that process. Now we're going to go back into your network settings here and go to change adapter options. Now you should see your Ethernet or Wi-Fi inside here. Go to the properties tab here and we want to go to our uh, protocol 4 version 4 here. Go here, TCP IP. And then inside here you're looking for the DNS. And just basically try to use your DNS for your network at home, so your gateway Try and put your gateway inside here, see if that works. So open up command prompt, type in CMD, and put IP config, and you should get all your information for your main system, and you should see your default gateway for your Ethernet or your Wi-Fi. Put that into that box there and see if that connects. If it doesn't, then obtain DNS server automatically, put it back to that, but try this first and see if you get a connection and see if we can get internet. And there we go, that's uh, basically tried all of those methods. I'm pretty sure once you've tried all those, you will get an internet connection through your uh, actual Windows sandbox. Now, if you don't, then what you need to do is go back into Windows features, and you basically want to take the tick out of Windows sandbox, restart your system, and then go back and put the tick in and rebuild it. Anyway, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos.